Okay, so this time we'll do um, one of these kind of anomalous uh, atoms. So remember, uh, boron, uh, carbon, and nitrogen have that weird feeling pattern. Okay, so we're going to do the molecular orbital uh, theory uh, analysis of C22+. Plus. Okay, so in order to do this, we've got to write the electron configuration of the atomic carbon, right? And, well, in this case, it's going to be carbon plus and carbon plus, right? Because if we add carbon plus and carbon plus, it's going to give us C2 plus. So at the bottom here, we've got the 2s orbital of the carbon and the 2s orbital of the other carbon. And then we show the bonding orbital. And again, like I was saying, I don't have very much room on this board, so it's going to be really kind of flat. An anti-bonding orbital. So we call this the sigma 2s orbital. Sigma star 2s orbital. Okay, up here, we're going to have the 2p orbital. One, two, three. 3, 2, P. So remember, in this case, the P or the pi uh, orbitals are filled first, okay? So down here, we're going to have the two pi orbitals. then the sigma orbital, like that. Okay, so this is called um, pi 2p, and this is also a pi 2p. And this is sigma 2p. Okay, then next, Okay, so now let's fill up our <coughs> electrons. Okay, so C plus has how many electrons? One, two, three, four, but minus that fourth one, so we only have three, right? So how do we fill that up? Well, one, two, like that, three. Is everybody okay with that? Just like you would normally do. C plus, same thing over here. One, two, three. Okay, so down here we're going to have two, right? And two. One, two, three, four. Why? Because we have four, so we have to have four. So here, what are we going to do? Well, one electron. So remember, all of our rules, right? We've got to remember Hund's rule. We've got to remember um, the Pauli exclusion principle. We've got to remember Hofbau principle, okay? So if we remember all of those, these two, and I know my, all of my lines are kind of at an angle here, but these two are of equivalent energy, right? So what's going to happen? So we're going to have electrons looking like that. Okay. So, now, let's go about determining the bond order. Okay. So, bond order is going to equal one half bonding electrons minus the anti bonding electron. So, how many bonding electrons do we have? Help me out. Four, right? One, two, three, four. How many anti bonding do we have? Two. So one half 
4 minus 2 is 2, so that's going to equal what? 1. So does this molecule exist? Yes, it exists. Okay. Why? Because the bond order is greater than 0. Okay. So um, let's draw the electron configuration for this thing. Okay. So how will we do that? So what did we say? Well, we've got to put sigma um, 2s, and we're just doing the electron configuration for the valence shell. Okay. And if we wanted to do the whole thing, it would be sigma 1s 2, sigma star 1s 2. Okay. So let's do the whole thing. Just to, so sigma 1s 2, sigma star 1s 2, right? That's the inner electrons. So sigma 2s, help me out, 2, good job. Sigma star 2s, what? 2, good job. And then here we say um, pi 2e, 2. Like that, okay? So even though they're in two different orbits. So, the last thing I want to ask is, would this be attracted to a magnet? What would you think? Yes. Why? Because we have these unpaired electrons here. Okay? So, uh, 